Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down as senior members of the royal family in January 2020. The couple have had a rocky relationship with the media since the beginning of their relationship, with them issuing multiple warnings to the press and pleading for privacy. But amid repeated demands for privacy, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have so far not shied away from publicity, prompting Vine panelist James Max to question their strategy. The broadcaster took particular issue with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's agreement with Netflix despite the Duke's protectiveness toward his mother Princess Diana's legacy. Mr. Max said, he shouldn't work there, Netflix, I'm sorry, he's a say, not a do-er. He speaks about the private having got there on his private jet. He speaks about no intrusion but puts publicity out there on his own basis. If you are that concerned about the publicity, walk away from the public life. Stop causing it. Jeremy Vine intervened, maybe he's a bit damaged. Everything that happened to his mother. But Mr. Max quipped, a bit damaged. He's fallen off the back of a lorry and everything's broken. Mr. Vine added, well, hang on, there he is as a little boy, without knowing that she had 10 more years of life left. What did that do to him? You can't imagine. Journalist Ash Saka added, I think that's a separate issue, which is the way in which the royal family does something incredibly traumatic to human beings. It puts their interpersonal lives, their loves, their insecurities front and center of national life, and that's one of the reasons I am a staunch Republican. Meghan Markle advised to teach Lilibet and Archie about family member amid drama. Not special. Meghan's political moves backfire as US turns on Duchess. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry plan fake royal tours trademark next year Royal Expert claims the Sussexes have recently come under fire for their reported 150 meters deal with Netflix. Many are criticizing Harry's silence surrounding the portrayal of his late mother, Princess Diana, in the Netflix show The Crown. Elizabeth Debicki has taken over the role of Princess Diana from Emma Corrin in the new season. The show has been criticized for the way it has portrayed Diana as a helpless victim. Prince Charles and Prince William have met with world leaders in Glasgow during the COP26 climate change summit. The Prince of Wales and his son have taken on more work during the conference after Queen Elizabeth II was forced to miss it due to doctor's advice. Now, Prince Harry has made sure he is part of the climate change plan after welcoming delegates of the Centre for Compassion and Altruism Research and Education CARE, into a conversation about climate change. CARE tweeted, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, welcomed realizing a Compassionate Planet delegates to a conversation related to climate health and mental health, facilitated by Dr. James Doty. Over the years, the Duke of Sussex has launched a number of initiatives tackling the climate crisis, and has previously described it as one of the world's two most pressing issues. Richard Eden claimed the 37-year-old prince and his wife Meghan Markle would have hated not being present at COP26 due to the high-profile platform it offers. In a recorded video message for world leaders, the Queen praised her son Prince Charles and her grandson Prince William for their contribution to the climate debate, and their environmental activism. Speaking of Harry's response on the Mail Plus podcast Palace Confidential, diary editor Richard Eden said, they will have hated not being at COP26, I mean just the chance to talk to the whole world with Prince William there. One thing, in the Queen TMS speech, which I think will have been genuinely hurtful for Harry was no reference to him. The Queen talked about how her husband TMS environmental concerns were being built on by his son Prince Charles and his grandson Prince William. No mention of Harry, even though the environment is something that he TMS felt very strongly about through the years, has spoken about and he TMS even launched initiatives like Travelist to try and do something for the environment. So I think that will have been hard for him. The 95-year-old monarch was originally due to attend the COP26 summit in Glasgow but was forced to regretfully cancel her trip after receiving medical advice to remain in Windsor. Instead, a recorded video message was played to assembled delegates at an evening reception on November 1. 
Both the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge, alongside their two wives, were in attendance and had been photographed with world leaders, such as US President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Both Charles and William have conducted a number of engagements throughout the week, which has included attending Stella McCartney's Sustainable Fashion Show, meeting Earthshot Prize finalists, and hosting meetings with world leaders. The Duke of Sussex is also a passionate advocate for sustainability and the environment and has given several speeches on the matter both during his royal career and post Megxit. He also called for a post-Covid reckoning moment for people to start tackling the climate crisis, which he linked to mental health. The Prince is also President of Africa Parks, a conservation group that works to protect natural wildlife and ecosystems in Africa's national parks. Harry and Meghan have previously come under criticism for their use of private jets. In the summer of 2019, they took four private jets in the space of 11 days, which included visiting Elton John's home in the south of France. The Prince has defended these trips, saying that he flies commercial 99% of the time and launched his own sustainable travel company, Travelist. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge were part of the royal delegation at the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow earlier this week. With climate change and environmentalism causes close to the Cambridge's heart, their social media channels have been busy in recent days. Several posts of the Cambridges in Glasgow have been shared on Instagram, showing the couple as they chatted to delegates and environmental figures. Many of the pictures posted on the Cambridge's official Instagram account this week have been promoting William's Earthshot Prize Awards initiative. The Earthshot Prize Awards, which took place for the first time earlier this autumn, sees people awarded 1 million grants from the Royal Foundation to assist with tackling climate change. Among many snaps posted by the Cambridges this week, a particularly poignant photo has drawn comparisons to two other famous royal figures. The picture in question was captured when Kate and William had their backs turned to the camera while they met Earthshot Prize finalists. The Duke and Duchess caption read, Fantastic to finally meet the at Earthshot Prize finalists in person at at COP26 UK. This week at COP we will showcase their incredible innovations to repair our planet. The Earthshot Prize finalists will also meet members of the Prize TMS Global Alliance, some of the world TMS largest corporations, philanthropists, and not-for-profits who will provide unparalleled support to the prize finalists to help scale their solutions. COP26 Royal fans may have made comparisons with the Cambridge's picture and another posted on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's now unused Sussex Royal Instagram account last year. The account posted a picture of the Sussexes attending the Mountbatten Festival of Music at the Royal Albert Hall, with both Harry and Meghan dressed in red and facing away from the camera. Holding hands, smiling and gazing into each other's eyes in the snap, the Sussex Royal picture attracted more than a million likes on the picture-sharing platform. Brand expert Nick Ada told the Daily Mail, this behind-the-scenes almost candid image is one that we have associated with Meghan and Harry's most famous images. We have seen behind-the-scenes shots from pop stars coming off stage to actors taking a bow etc. These are always candid moments that have an enduring appeal and bring a human touch to the image, which is something Meghan and Harry have done on numerous occasions. This image creates a very strong narrative and I think we can expect many more of these types of images to be released in the future. The Cambridges are notoriously private about their relationship, opting not to hold hands in public or discuss their personal lives with the public. But there have been signs in recent weeks that Kate and William are now more willing to show public displays of affection. The official Cambridge Instagram account shared some behind-the-scenes snaps from the Earthshot Prize Awards back in October, which are perhaps evident that the Cambridges are now putting more of their relationship under the spotlight. With all of the pictures posted in black and white, one snap showed Kate and William smiling together as they walked through a curtain. And another sweet snap saw Kate placing a protective arm around William, as they smiled at each other while speaking to attendees.